uh, for the helix code here um, aside from importing the turtle i'm also importing the mat module because um, math module is needed for the sine trigonometric function and the pi that I will be using uh, later on here. And then uh, for why is it x is equal to negative 500 here? Uh, because the, the image of the helix uh, ranges um, from negative 500 on the left side of the screen to positive 500 on the right side of the screen. It, uh, initial angle is zero, the y is equal to zero, vertical uh, coordinate of the x and y axis. Now, why is the range here 49 for the loop? Because I am drawing 49 spindles on a twisted helix. So that you can see the helix, I, mm, I made sure that there are many uh, spindles so that uh, the helix is well defined. Now, um, I am using the length of the spindle, the, the 220 times sine of the angle here. So just in case the angle is zero, so sine is zero. That means uh, the length of the spindle for the angle corresponding to zero is zero. There is no spindle length. And then I have here um, the loops for three cases of the sine values. If the sign is zero or very close to zero, if the sign is less than zero, and then over here, if the sign is greater than zero. If the sign is less than zero here, uh, is equal to zero here, uh, that means the spindle length should be zero. So if the sign is in that interval, the spindle length is zero, and then, um, there is no spindle for the circle corresponding to um, this uh, uh, angle here. Now, before I draw the circle, remember that the circle is generated on the uh, location where you have the turtle. It goes counterclockwise. So to center the circle on the line of, on the axis of the twisted uh, helix, I make sure that the turtle starts generating the circle at x negative 10. Since the radius of the circle is 10, so the circle is gonna be exactly on the line. I mean the center of the circle is exactly on the line. And then I am ready to um, draw the circle. The circle is blue and then the circle radius is 10. Now, after drawing the circle where in the spindle length is zero, I reset the y to zero. Okay, just in case the sign is less than zero, that means um, uh, that means the spindle length is not going forward actually, but it is going backward. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I didn't change anything about that. And then uh, these are the steps here. Go to x, y. You know, x changes uh, for every iteration, and only time that y changes is when sine is equal to zero. Now, these are the commands here, or the steps, so that we make sure that the spindle uh, comes straight from the axis of uh, uh, axis of the twisted helix and the circle is generated at the end of the spindle. Now, just in case the sign is greater than zero, in this case, the spindle length is uh, actually positive and, um, and the turtle does not go backward. Hey, um, you might be asking, why is x here plus or equal to plus equal of 1,048? You know, this means that x increases by 1,000 over 48 for every iteration. Why 48? Because there will be 48 um, representations of the spindles after the first um, spindle representation. And then why it's the angle here divided by 48? Uh, because yes, uh, there are 48 spindles after the first spindle. Now this is how the helix looks like.